Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the solution to the 2021 AMC 10B problem number 16. Call a positive integer an uphill integer. So like you're going up the hill kind of. Basically every digit is, be careful of the wording here, strictly greater, strictly meaning it cannot be equal, has to be strictly greater than the previous digit. And generally what I've seen is that Sometimes when, when there's a problem and then there's like examples after to just explain and make sure to clear what the problem is. Sometimes you might think, I understand, let's skip the examples. And then you might get it wrong because you skip the examples. So I recommend just making sure you understand what the problem means because sometimes they, the wording initially before the examples might be confusing if they're providing examples. So I recommend you at least make sure whatever you're interpreting is correct with assuming the examples. Because I've made that mistake before many times. So for example, this case, one, three, five, seven, eight, nine, and five are uphill because one's less than three is less than five is less than seven. Eight is less than nine and five, well, just a digit. So it, of course, it's strictly greater than no other digit. So, but we see that here, these are not because the digits are decreasing. And be very careful here, positive. So just a heads up there. So basically, how many uphill integers are divisible by 15? So the very powerful technique, it's a Chinese reader theorem. If the number is divisible by 15, it's also by five and three. So if it's divisible by five, then we know the last digit has to be five or zero. Okay, so can the last digit even be zero? Well, if the last digit is zero, well, can the last digit be zero? Well, we're saying that's strictly increasing. So that means zero will have to be greater than all the other digits, but that's not possible because zero cannot be greater than all the other digits since it's the last digit. So it, will have, it would have to be strictly greater, greater than. And also something to be careful here is that it can, there, and we cannot, we also can't have just one digit because if we had just one digit, then that would be uphill, but it wouldn't be positive as this problem specifically says. Be very careful of the wording. So zero doesn't work. Now we know the last digit has to be five. Okay, that's good. But now we still have to use a divisible of three conditions. It's not that straightforward yet. So notice that if it's uphill, then there's no way we can have any digits six through nine in our number. Since we have five as the last digit, all digits besides five have to be less than five. So basically, we have to take some combination of these four digits. So we basically would be like, okay, let's we have these four digits. So we can just maybe we, we can have something like one, three, five, one, four, five. Just take any subset of these digits and cross out maybe some of these digits, essentially. But now not all of them work. If if all of them did work, let's say we let's say the problem said only divisible by five, then the answer would be 16, because then we would just have two choices, include the digit, not include the digit for each of the four digits, so 16. But in this case, it says divisible by three, so it's a little bit more tricky than just that. So divisible by three means that some of the digits are divisible by three. We can see that five is two mod three, right? So that means that some of these, any subset of these four digits has to be one mod three, because one mod three plus two mod three is zero mod three, which is divisible by three. Notice that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10 mod 3 or 1 mod 3. So one possibility is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? That's if we have all four digits in our sequence. So now, are there any ways if we just have three of the digits? So now we don't have all four of 1, 3, three 4. Now we'd say we have to exclude one of 1, 2, 3, or 4. And then we still want the sum of those, the, that subset of digits to be 1 mod 3. So what digit can we exclude? Well, it turns out the only possibility is 1, 2, 4, 5. Notice that this 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 is 12. So we're actually good here as well. Again, a good technique, checking your solutions actually work. You can check, can easily check that was divisible by 5, divisible by 3. Good way to check and make sure you're not screwing up anywhere. So you can check that these possibilities work. And this is the only possibility when you have three of these four digits because taking out any other number would change the value of the sum of the, the digits mod 3 because taking out like 2 would reduce, you reduce it to 0 mod 3 and 0 mod 3 plus 2 mod 3 isn't zero mod three. So one, two, four, five, the only possibility for three digits. Now, what about two digits? Two digits, let's look at the possibilities now. So if we have two digits, then now we can have like one plus, we can have one plus three, we can have, so you can have one plus three, one, three, and five, because one plus three is four mod five. So one, if, if you have two digits, so some can either be, has to be one mod four, which is not possible. One can be one, can be four, seven. What is not possible since two digits cannot have a sum of one? But four, on the other hand, is possible. One and three, like I said here. And remember that there's only one ordering these digits. We cannot have three, one, five. Since that would mean 
three, three is greater than one, and that means three has to be after one. So this is not possible. Just be aware of that. So that's the possibility here. Some before. So it's the only possibility here for that matter. Actually, no. It's the only possibility for the sum when the sum is equal to four. There's also the case when the sum is equal to seven. So if it's equal to seven, then we can have three, four, five. And this does work as well. So again, you can verify these solutions all work. This is the sum of 12. This is the sum of nine. This is the sum of 12. This is the sum of 15. So we're good here. And the last digits are all five. Okay. So that's it for the case where, because the sum cannot be 10 or more, since 10 is too big for the sum of two digits. Now the last case, one, only one digit. So if one digit, what are the different cases? One digit, well, then the only one of these, the only the, the digits that are, the only of these digits that are going to be equal to, that are going to be equal to one mod five, one mod three is going to be one or four. So it can be like one five or four five, because those both have a sum of multiple of three, right? And then from there, we can see that if there's zero digits, then there's just going to be five, just the lone five. So from here, what do we actually notice? So from here, we can actually notice that the sum of the digits has to be divisible by three. So let's go and check all of them, but this doesn't work. This last case doesn't work because if there's no digit in front of it, then this won't work. Since now zero, then the sum is just five and three. So again, a good way to avoid your sillies is by checking, is this actually true? Do all my solutions actually work? Now let's sum up. This is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. So six is our answer. Great, we've solved this problem. Thank you all for watching this video. And before we end, let's quickly recap. So we have, you see that the last digit has to be five based on this divisible by five condition. And we also see the divisible by three condition. We somehow want to use that. That tells us that the sum of the digits from one, two, and three, four has to be one mod three. We look at the possibilities and we have four digits, we, it works. When you have three digits, we have these possibilities here. When we have two digits, we have these possibilities. One digit, these possibilities. So what's the real like key idea here? The key idea is that when you have divisible by numbers, try to look at the digits properties of it. And remember not to overcount or undercount because that could cost you six points. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.